Hello everyone, this is Pastor Satoru and I am here now in Philadelphia. Not in the States, Philadelphia, but in Turkey. And actually this place is a very tiny, tiny place because it is uh, in a city. Actually, the recently the archaeologists found old cities underground, but they have not been able to excavate it because there are people living on top of it. So we have a very small, uh, maybe you know, half the size of a soccer field, uh, archaeological site here. And the uh, pillar right be behind me, one, and there's another one right here, and another one right here, uh, remains from the 6th century uh, church, from the uh, Byzantine period and they are still standing and there are some archaeological remains on the ground like this and every time I um, visit those uh, Greco-Roman um, cities, uh, it strikes me how the Greek mythology uh, has been, uh, has influenced the life of people. Uh, right here is a coffin made of marble and there's carvings of some kind of a Greek mythology. Oh, by the way, it has a carving of grape. Can you see the grape right there? Because uh, this area is very famous for great grapes and also figs. There's figs right beside grapes. Uh, figs is uh, figs are all also very famous uh, in this location. I want to show you the other coffin that they have here. And this is from the uh, probably the first century coffin made out of marble, and it has carvings as well. Right here, can you see the face? Oh yeah, here you go. The this face is here's another one right here is the face of Medusa from the Greek mythology. Medusa, as you may know, is like a monster uh, whose hair are snakes and it was believed that uh, if you look at her eyes you will turn into stones. So uh, this Medusa was greatly uh, feared among the Greek Greco-Roman world and I see uh, Medusa and things like that uh, everywhere uh, in cities around here. Uh, and it's, uh, it's on the coffin here because it is believed that uh, this uh, evil Medusa will protect the coffin uh, from the thieves or any other uh, evil uh, intentioned people. So th this is uh, one example of uh, how the Greek mythology is uh, deeply embedded in the lives of people. And I can only imagine how um, hard it was to faithfully uh, living as disciple of Jesus Christ in this kind of society. Uh, I have shown you in other videos like the shrines and temples of the gods and goddesses, uh, those were uh, deeply, deeply uh, interwoven uh, into people's lives. For example, the shrine was also functioning as a financial bank. Uh, so it was a uh, sort of indispensable uh, part of Greco-Roman life. So uh, to the Church of Philadelphia, uh, God has these words. 
Uh, actually, there's no words against them. Uh, and, and God says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door. Not, no one can shut. I know you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars, I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. I have loved you. And then uh, Jesus continued to uh, say that that he will keep you. Uh, I am coming back soon. I'm coming soon. And the exhortation is hold on to what you have right now. And, uh, and he also continues saying, no one who uh, the the one the one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of God. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of God. Just like the pillar right behind me, it's been standing for what fifteen thousand, no no fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, fourteen hundred. Uh, a very very long time and even though this place is kind of prone to earthquake uh, this pillar is still standing firmly so that is the promise and hope that God has given us that we continue to be faithful that we continue to um, do his work and to continue to proclaim his name and not denying it uh, God promises us the very firm uh, life in Jesus Christ. That is our hope. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and I hope this has been uh, an interesting and blessing for you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.